morning guys it is about 2 30 and i am just resting i haven't had a whole lot of energy today um i think it has to do with the fact that it's like super hot outside and i don't know i'm just pretty tired um so i woke up and ate and did my best and all the normal stuff took care of the dogs and now I'm trying to remember where I put a computer game. Um, uh, my Zootech computer game, I've had it for, like, years. I don't even know. Literally, I don't even know how long. Like, years and years. And I have never lost it because that is one of my favorite games. And it is, like, missing. And it's kind of stressing me out. So, <laughs> I'm trying to find it or at least remember where I put it because you know hopefully I'll be able to find it but um besides doing that I've just been resting today <clears throat> and um trying to eat a lot too because I know that after my surgery I'm probably gonna lose unfortunately a little bit of weight and I've worked really hard to get myself where I'm at so, in the days leading up to that, I'm trying to eat as much as I possibly can to, um, so that if I do lose weight, I kind of have a little bit of a buffer, because I don't want to go back below 80. So, basically that's what I've been doing. Right now, my lungs are just pretty junky, so I'm just laying here. And yes, I'm using a stuffed penguin as a pillow. <laughs> I got him when I was in the hospital over Christmas in 2014. So, yeah resting and that's about it so I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you guys in a little while hey guys so I am still inside but for the time being I have decided to give up my fruitless search for the game um and just basically resting and yeah today's just kind of one of those days where I'm just low energy and I had a cup of coffee and now I'm gonna try Mountain Dew and see if I start bouncing off walls <laughs> um and yeah so I'm gonna head to the barn in about an hour and a half normally I probably would just skip the barn on days like today but I know I'm not gonna be able to go Friday obviously or Saturday and hopefully Sunday but maybe not so I'm going to take advantage of it and push through the the tiredness and go anyway um plus I really want to work with Chip um, I'm kind of, like, task-oriented minded when it comes to the horses, like with Blondie. I just would refuse to give up until she picked up her foot or, um, <clears throat> I got the halter on her or etc. And, like, I do it on their time. Blondie, I think it took me, what, six, eight months just to get the halter on her face? But now she takes it, like, no problem. And so, um... These aren't my horses, obviously, but I care about them a lot, and I want to leave them, leave them, like, you know, I want to make them better. Like, I was saying leave them better than I found them, but that's not really the right term. I want to make them better. I want to help him out, and I want to, um, make them better and easier, and <clears throat> in any way I can do that, I want to help. So, um, I want to work with Chip, and I'm actually probably going to... I'm eating some crackers and drinking this Mountain Dew. And I'm probably going to look up on YouTube, Stubborn Horse Lifting Feet, or something along those lines. Uh, because what I was doing with Blondie isn't really working with her, but it does have to be a different, kind of a different approach. Kind of the different and the same, because with Chip, she's way more like a more confident horse than Blondie. Blondie is really submissive and just flighty, whereas Chip is more dominant and like, yo... You know, like, whatever. I'm just going to stand here. So, <clears throat> um, patience and time it comes with anything. But I need to look up kind of how to be a little more um, assertive in the way I'm asking her, I guess. So, that's what I'm going to do. And, yeah. So, hello, ninja. You look kind of like a creepy glowing being there. There she is. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you guys in a little while. Well, out of nowhere, a freakish storm has popped up. So hopefully it'll be through about six before I head to the barn. But yeah, 
I mean, in some ways it's a good thing, because we need rain, but... Yeah. Interesting. We're getting a much needed downpour, like a really hard downpour. I don't even know where this came from because we weren't even supposed to have a chance of rain today, but I'm kind of glad that it's happening because us and all the surrounding counties are under burn man. And the wind just changed direction and I'm just wet. Um, so we kind of need this, so it's kind of good. And hopefully once it goes through, then I'll be able to head to the horses. But good grief, I'm getting wet. Um, but yeah, maybe it'll cool things off tonight for the horses because they was, uh, it was hot earlier. Goodness gracious! The wind! Look at this! Okay, I'm gonna go inside now. <laughs> it's still raining, but there it is. I knew there would be a rainbow. Incredible. Incredible. The sky is turning blue. So I'm gonna head down to the barn and I don't know how long I'll get down there before it goes dark because it's 6.15 now, but that was, that was pretty. Anytime that I see a rainbow, it just, it makes me so happy and I don't know why. I guess just because they're beautiful, but um, it was almost like perfect timing because I was starting to feel really stressed with stuff coming up on Friday and to be honest it's like utterly terrifying me and so I was just like kind of overwhelmed and just on the verge of like crying basically and then there's a rainbow so <clears throat> I am I'm really thankful for that and I'm thankful for the rain too because we needed it and um I don't know, it just sent me from being like freaking out overwhelmed to feeling calm and happy. So, it's a good thing. You guys are wet. Big puddle. Wet horses. Yeah, you guys are wet. <laughs> Happy boys. Happy boys. You silly boys, what are you looking at, huh? Huh? <laughs> Wet boys. Wet boys. Wet boys. Yeah. <laughs> A beautiful sunset tonight. After the rain. Just a hue of pink and gold. And it is gorgeous. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and say good night. I just got back from the barn and I'm going to take care of Panda and then take a bath. <laughs> to tell you how wet it was out there, my feet and boots, like my leather boots, were soaked through. My socks were squishing, so it was kind of gross, but it was worth it. So I'm going to take a bath and do my treatment and just, um, chill for the night but yeah so thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and i'll see you guys tomorrow good night